Messi, es un 3 para 2, está solo Luis Suárez, está solo Luis Suárez, el balón para Neymar, está solo Messi, gol, gol histórico, por fin lo consigue Leo Messi, 252 goles, es el mejor jugador, el mejor delantero de toda la historia de la liga, gol para la historia, supera a Telmo Zarra. Sixty years have had to go by before a player's managed to break the record of the legendary Telmo Zara as the all-time top scorer in the Spanish First Division. Leo Messi has now smashed the 251-goal record that the Athletic Club striker achieved in his 15 seasons in San Mamés. It's taken the little Argentine just 11 campaigns in the greatest league in the world. Messi's curriculum over those seasons is full of goals, records, magic, titles and celebrations. The story began when Frank Rijkaard gave him his official debut against Espanyol on October the 16th, 2004, at just 17 years of age, making him the youngest ever Barcelona player to make his first division debut. But his first goal, setting him on the path to overtake Thala, wouldn't come until the 1st of May 2005, when he scored against Albacete in the Camp Nou on match day 34. When I scored that goal, the truth is I couldn't see anything, but it was a beautiful moment. I played a few games by then, and when I got the chance to score, fortunately, I put it away. Yeah, that goal was obviously very important for him, and he deserved it. He's been training with us, and the minutes he's been given, he's played brilliantly. In his second year in the first team, Messi scored six goals, but was dogged by injury and never got the continuity he needed. He did, however, score his first league brace on the 29th of January 2006 in Barca's 3-0 away win to Mallorca. The same season, Leia won his second league title and his first Champions League medal. But the youngster from Rosario would finally burst onto the scene in a big way in the following 2006-07 season, scoring 14 goals and grabbing a hat-trick in the Clásico against Madrid in the Camp Nou. I think he's worth so much. He saved us from defeat. And when a player scores all the goals, including such a fundamental goal for us, it means he's put in a really special performance. I'm very pleased for him. He's a very special talent, and his performance today was superb. The following season, Leo Messi would once again suffer from muscular injuries, preventing him from reaching 30 Liga matches, but he scored 10 goals, including braces against Thanagotha and Sevilla.
But if there's a key moment in Messi's career and his route towards reaching the legendary first division goals tally of Thara, it was the arrival of Pep Guardiola to the Barca bench in 2008. Messi was moved away from the wing to play as a false nine. And in that first season with Pep at Barca, the Argentine scored 23 goals, including five braces, one of them coming in the Catalan's famous 6-2 win over Madrid in the Bernabeu. That triumphal Barca won all there was to win in the 2008-09 season and had in Messi their leader and goal scorer. The genius from Rosario passed the 50 goal mark in his fifth season in the Liga BBVA. A youngster of his age who can do everything he does. The way sport is played these days, it's so competitive, so physical, with such well-prepared players. Choose your own adjectives. Leo Messi has shown all his technical abilities out on the pitch with his goal scoring. I don't think Messi needs any more praise. Messi. With Messi, anything can happen. He's a, a magician. Yeah, magician. While Messi needed five years to get past the 50 goal mark in the Liga, in his next two campaigns he scored 65 more. 34 in 2009-10 and 31 in 2010-11. The Argentine passed the figure of 100 Liga BBVA goals in Barcelona's huge 8-0 win away to Almeria on the 20th of November 2010. Messi opened the scoring on 17 minutes with his goal number 99. He then reached his centenary in the second half. Way through the second period, he added another, his 13th of the season, and his goal number 101 in total. Messi had taken 154 matches to score his 100 goals, at an average of 0.65 goals per match. He'd also become the second youngest player to reach the magic 100 goals in the Liga, aged just 23. Messi's goals in all competitions, but especially La Liga, helped him win the Golden Boot Award in 2010. And the Ballon d'Or in 2009, and again in 2010. <laughs> As playing out on the wing became more and more of a memory, the zone where he played his football at an early age, the centre of attack now became his new zone of influence. His goal statistics increased exponentially, as did his overall importance in the team's game. And the excellent performances of the team helped too, of course. Barcelona remained a footballing machine, the best team of the time, 
and Messi's story in the number of goals he was now scoring grew at more or less the same rate as the team's successes. Who's a more complete player than Messi? I've never heard anyone say that any player is more complete than Messi. Messi is the best. But in everything. I see him train every day. He doesn't just score goals. All the registers that a player has to have, work rate, combining, understanding the game, and at just 23, he's simply the best. Having got his 100th goal, Messi continued scoring at a remarkable rate that season. He helped Barca to their third consecutive Liga title of the Guardiola era with 31 goals, 33% of the total goals scored by the entire team. Messi's most spectacular moment of the season came against Atletico Madrid in the Camp Nou. With the Liga title at stake in a draining dispute with Mourinho's Real Madrid, Leo destroyed the Colchoneros with a sublime hat-trick. Out of everything Messi did, I choose the defensive work he did right in front of the bench. That's what makes him even more of a number one. Because if he's got all the talent and he's capable of tracking back like that to defend, then it's clear we're talking about a Di Stefano of the 21st century. It's madness. For the second consecutive season, Messi scored over 30 Liga goals. Traditionally, the barrier only broken by the most effective of strikers, in which the Argentine had now swept past two seasons on the trot. The best, however, was still to come. Barcelona and Leo Messi again faced a new season aspiring to win every trophy in play. The Catalans had finished the previous campaign as champions of Europe and of the Liga BBVA. The new season would bring them four further trophies. The Spanish and European Super Cups, the World Club Championship and the Copa del Rey. But also the news of the forthcoming departure of Josep Guardiola, the man who had created the best ever Barcelona side and who had been directly responsible for the enormous improvement Leo Messi had made, both quantitatively and qualitatively. Although Barca ended the season with a certain feeling of disappointment, Leo Messi had once again offered a recital of goal-scoring efficiency, setting a new and as yet untouched mark that will surely last for many seasons to come. Barca's number 10 scored 50 goals in that one season, an unbelievable total, only within reach of a player who by then had joined the list of the greatest players in the history of football. Because I know him and have the chance of playing with him, I think Leo is the best in the world. He's a step above everybody else. When a team as brilliant as Barcelona has also got Messi, without him, Barcelona make the difference with Xavi, Iniesta, Villa, etc. But having Messi makes it almost impossible to stop them. The Argentine star broke one goal-scoring record after another that season. Messi enjoyed a spectacular start to the campaign. By the 11th round of matches in the game against Mallorca, La Pulga grabbed his third hat-trick of the season. After 10 matches, he'd already scored 13 goals. 
está esa cuenca colgando el balón al segundo palo, Adriano. After yet another hat trick, this time against Granada, Messi had become Barcelona's all time top scorer with 234 goals in all competitions, beating the record held by Cesar for over half a century. Just thinking that at the age of 24, he's already scored 234 goals. And he scores every day. Every day. He's absolutely the best in every single aspect. He can do everything. Everything a footballer has to do. And he does it every three days. There's never been... I feel sorry for all those players who want to sit on his throne. It's impossible. This lad is different. He's the best, and we're just delighted to have him here, to live with him, and hopefully he can keep thrilling the world of football for many more years to come. The same day he established yet another record, becoming the first ever Barca player to score more than 34 goals in a season beating his own record that he shared with Ronaldo Nazario de Lima. Messi rounded off his best goal-scoring season with four goals against Espanyol in the Barcelona derby on the day Guardiola said farewell to the club. Leo wanted to dedicate goals to the manager who led him over the previous four successful years. Messi ended the season with six hat-tricks and twice having scored four times in a match, 50 league goals and his second European golden boot. The departure of Pep Guardiola meant that his assistant over Barca's best ever period of playing results, Tito Villanova, stepped forward to take over the first team. That change on the bench seemed to have no negative effect on Leo Messi's goal-scoring prowess. Leo had coincided with Villanova in his progress through the youth ranks at Barca. What Tito does in training and what he did in the four years with Pep in the first team is more or less the same. We're working with the same people so nothing's really changed. That season, Barcelona would win La Liga, reaching the magic barrier of 100 points, although the season would be marked by Tito Villanova's illness, which meant he would be absent from the bench for long weeks. Messi continued scoring at a remarkable rate and he would continue breaking records with the same ease with which he broke through rival defences.
In October, he scored his goal number 300 as a professional in Barca's win over Rayo in Vallecas. December in the Via Marine, Messi broke another legendary record, that of total goals scored in a calendar year, which was held by Gerd Bomber Muller. With his brace against Betis, Leo reached 86 goals and go on to finish 2012 with a total of 91. Logically, I'm delighted that Messi has helped us win this match with two goals and that he's broken the record. We've always said it, when you score so many goals, it just seems impossible that anybody's ever going to beat that record. He's got three matches left and hopefully he can add even more to his tally and keep helping us to win matches. In January 2013, FIFA presented Messi with his fourth consecutive Ballon d'Or something without precedent in the world of football. On the 27th of January 2013, Messi struck four times against Osasuna in the Camp Nou. That day, La Pulga destroyed two more records. He'd scored on 11 consecutive match days, beating the record set by Ronaldo and Mariano Martin. And he scored his 200th Liga BBVA goal becoming the youngest player in history to achieve such a feat. Part of the final stages of the attempt to reach Thaddeus' record mark came under the orders of Messi's fellow Argentine, Gerardo Martino. Tata arrived in the Camp Nou to replace Tito Villanova after the Catalan manager stepped down to continue his treatment. It wasn't an easy season for Messi, who never gave the impression of reaching his best form due to muscular problems. But Messi is an unstoppable goal scorer, even when far from his top form. La Pulga, with Tata on the bench, continued scoring, breaking records and getting ever closer to Thaddeus record. On the 1st of September, Messi grabbed his first hat-trick of the campaign in Mistaya against Valencia, becoming in the process the all-time top Liga goal scorer away from home. Leo Messi, el autor de los dos tantos, toca para Cés, es con Neymar, Neymar ya dentro del área, busca el espacio para disparar, el pase que es bueno. Messi ended the second month of competition with eight goals. But in November, a muscular injury picked up against Betis in the Benito Via Marín kept the star out for almost two months. He reappeared against Atletico Madrid in mid-January 2014 and would then need half a month before troubling the scores again. He did it in the Camp Nou, once again against Valencia. March was a better month for the Argentine. Against Osasuna in the Camp Nou, he scored three of Barca's seven goals. And the following week, he led Barca out onto the pitch at the Santiago Bernabeu. It was the 23rd of March, and with the eyes of the world on the Clásico, Messi capped in Barca against Madrid. The Blaugrana's number 10 destroyed Ancelotti's Madrid with a hat-trick and kept Barcelona's Liga title hopes alive in the process. But the Liga was finally won by Atletico Madrid, 
despite Messi's 28 goals, which left him at touching distance from Farah's record. For the third consecutive season, Messi began the 2014-15 campaign under the orders of a new manager, Luis Enrique, former Barca player and coach of the reserve team Roma and Celta, who took over the reins to try to get Barcelona back on track. Despite the changes introduced by Luis Enrique at Barcelona, which moved Messi away from the center of attack, the Argentine star has continued scoring goals. On match day eight in the Camp Nou against Eibar, Messi grabbed the winner. It was his Liga goal number 250, leaving him just one goal shy of catching Telmo Farah and two from having his name written in gold ink in the annals of La Liga. Ahí va Messi. Messi hoy eclipsado por Xavi Neymar. Messi puede marcar ahora Messi. Those goals would have to wait. In fact, the fans had to wait over a month before Messi would finally make the record his own. But finally, of course, Messi would do it at home and against a strong rival, Unai Emery's Sevilla, with a sublime hat-trick. On 72 minutes, Messi met Neymar's cross on the far post and grabbed his goal number 252. historic goal, one which places Messi as the greatest goal scorer in the history of the Spanish League.